on second and 12. Montana. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. Going to try to throw for it with Montana. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Oh, Touchdown, 49ers. Lance Allworth, 34 yards. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Montana will throw for it. Oh, it's complete. A diving grab there by Brown. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponent trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it up. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys are lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. It was P.J. Williams that time on the tackle. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll snag about five yards down in the 32. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Here's Montana to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Now a second down at six. He'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. 
Working end zone, but it's incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. And he comes back with one complete. Touchdown. take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And now this is right in Kyle Shanahan's wheelhouse. He'll go for two here. They'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he is into the end zone for two more as the lead moves up to 16. So the signal caller doing it himself there on the two-point try. You got to like that. We always talk about the ball staying in the hands of the best players. But most of the time, you want to get it to a bat, pitch it to a wide receiver. In this case, the quarterback did it himself. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They go play action now. Jackson rolling to his right. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They go play action with Jackson. They'll roll him out right. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Sliding out of the pocket. Oh, he's got Hester complete. And he's into the end zone for the receiving touchdown. Devin Hester, his second touchdown of the night. And his guys are able to cut into that deficit. Jackson here is going to look to throw. Rolling to his left. And this is going to be caught. So they do get it. And the two points. Now they're back down to a one-score deficit. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. We got this. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. 
second down and right back to McCaffrey. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Montana. He finds his man complete. That's Brown. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They're going to look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him. And they get upfield, get that great push. And what do they create? Space. And he takes off. First and ten for Montana and company. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Looks like he'll throw here. Oh, a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Yeah, I'm fun with this one, partner. I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Ryan suck up on after the touchdown to kick it away. You know they play Hester to return from his end zone. <laughs> the offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. Brandon, the lineman, certainly flinched there before the snap. A good call. The false start backs him up five. First and 15. Throwing. Jackson. He'll buy some time right. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. To his right. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. Jackson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by the linebacker, Corey Littleton. And he will take this all the way down to the 38. 